What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Joey Johnny Three, and I'm back with some more Pokemon Ultra Sun Nuzlocke journey with you guys. Uh, there we go. And in the last part, part 13, I cleared out 10 Carrot Hill and Mantine Surfing for the first time. We got a high score of 3177, and we got ourselves one Beach Point, not Battle Point. Beach point. So technically if we stock up on those, we can get some good moves. But um I hope you are all having a happy and healthy wonderful day slash night. Whenever and wherever you're watching this video and streaming, we're all staying safe. I appreciate the love and support from each and every one of you. And we are now on part 14 on I got one trial, one kahuna, two deaths, the level cap is at 20 and 28 on my first attempt. I'm gonna give you guys a quick team recap of my beautiful sex looking team that I got going on over here for you guys before we continue. First up, we have Violet, the female Atkins at level 18, pure poison type with intimidates her ability with a Chesco Berry, Jolly Nature, somewhat stubborn characteristic, rock moves Rap, Glare, Screech, and Bite. Yeah, intimidate with. Intimidates her ability with a Chesco Berry. Alright. Next up, we have Grubbin, the male. We have Flick the Male Grubbin at level 17, pure bug type, about to be level 18, with Swarm Misses ability with the Quick Claw. Quiet Nature, capable of taking hits, characteristic, rock moves, bug bite, string shot, spark, and bite. Next up we have Lady the Female Fur Fro, level 18, pure normal type, with Fur Coats her ability with the normal Z Crystal. Serious Nature, takes plenty of siestas, characteristic, rock moves, headbutt, baby doll eyes, tail up, and work up. Next up we have my starter Pokemon himself, the boss right here, Garfield the Male Tora Cat, the legend. At level 19, the Goon. Pure Fire type with Blaze as his ability with a Person Berry. Sassy Nature, very Frankie characteristic. Rock moves, Double Kick, Fire Fang, Growl, and Roar. Next up, we have one of our newest members on the team. We have Cotton Candy, the female Conti, level 12. Grass Fairy type with Pranksters or ability with a Person Berry. Lax Nature, Love Seat characteristic. Rock moves, Fairy Wind, Growth, Leaf Seed, and Sunspore. And last, but certainly not least, we have our newest member on the team. We have Daisy Duck. The female Psyduck at level 14, pure water type with dampens her ability with a Pekka Berry. Careful nature, unfortunately for us. Impetuous and silly characteristic, Rock Moves Tail Whip, Water Gun Confusion, and Fury Swipes. Alright, so now we're going to explore Hia Hia City. Oh, let me not grab that. Fairy Terminal, take a ship. It's sure faster than swimming. I just want some items right now. Polyworld. <gasps> we can buy! Alright, let's speed this up. That's two. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Off the faraway Johto region, see there are these amazing craftsmen who smiths Pokeballs from special berries. What really? You mean they don't come from the factory in Kalos? Air Train, would you listen to this? Oh, I'm sorry to spring this into you, but do you know the rare GS ball? Of course. Oh, so you already know of Kurt, the masterful Pokeball Smith, who is the pride of the Johto region. Yes, the GS Ball is indeed the greatest Smith's ball. It's what we call the GS Ball. That's the greatest. Well, there are, apps, there are also those who might want to call it the Gold Silver Ball, but... So which one is right? Truth is in the eye of the beholder, my boy. 
Young trainer, I'm sorry that we delayed you on your journey. Let me share this with you to make up for it. All right, get a premier ball. Nice too. The premier ball crafted to commemorate a special occasion of some sort. All right, well. I love references like that. Trainer tips. How many experience points you get from a battle depends on the level of your Pokemon you fight. The higher your opponent's level compared to your level, the more XP your Pokemon will get. But the opposite is true. The lower that your opponent's level is compared to you, you'll get less. Many trainers who traveled in Kanto and Johto long, long ago came together to form this town. Oh, wow. Chrome Dome? Trying to talk to Magnum right here? The name Raider? Oh, we could change some clothes, say less. Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele is... Psychic Fairy, I believe? Team Skull? I ah, don't worry about them. See, it's a Lazzle, the evolved form of Salando. Only female Salando can evolve into that. Damn, it's so pricey though. Oh, me! And these are fire though. Yes, the sunglasses. Or the glasses. Let's go, baby. want these my guys looking fire yeah here city a town that always welcomes visitors Have a lemonade.
Luminoid City of the Callous Region and Luminoid Galette. Take a full heal. Yes, Poke Beans. Kai knows every type of Pokeball. They're showing Pokemon that I got from a trade and he'll know. Interesting. Murkrow, that's a powerful encounter. Oh! Auroraville, baby! That's for physical and special. Oh, this is all tempting, fam. Um. Hmm. Twenty two thousand now. If I save up I can buy all three. Light screen reflect and protect. Alright, so this man's blocking the way, right? Or she's blocking the way, I mean. Stop right there. Oh, they're from Sun and Moon. And also an Ultra Moon. I'm Dexio. My name's Senna. Beautiful name for a beautiful lady. Oh wow, I get to battle Dexio. Alright, so in Ultra Sun, you battle Dexio, in Ultra Moon, you battle Senna. Alright, round battle one against Dexio at Yeah here City. Alright, he has a team of two. Alright, Mime Jr. Psychic Fairy type. With soundproof as ability? Level 15. I don't have poison thing anymore, do I? Going to flick. Super Potion. Come on, Flick. Oh no, not the confusion! Come on, Flick! Let's go! Get it out of here! Alright, Mime Jr. was defeated. One down, one to go. 190 experience for Flick, well deserved, of course. Flick with 18, nice Sue. Espeon. <laughs> Going to Lady. Alright, his ace Pokemon is his Espeon, a level 15 pure psychic type with synchronized as his ability. 
One of my favorite evolutions of all time, of course. Definitely my top three. Let's go, Breakneck Blitz, baby! I was paying the tune on number to go 5-3 experience for Lady. And Cotton Candy goes to level 13, nice too. Ooh, Mega Drain. Well, these are good to have. Gotta... Here are the Fairy Wind. Now if you had to put more trainer Dexio. Aloha trainers have different charm than those in Kalos. 2100 Poker Dolls for winning in Ravada 1 at Hia Hia City. That's what I expect from a trainer doing the Island Challenge. I feel the bond between your Pokemon. I feel like I've been able to have a glimpse of the Island Challenge. Let me hear your Pokemon this thanks. Alright, thank you, Senna. You and your Pokemon are the ultimate team, know that about it. That battle reminded me of us in the past and that group of five young trainers. He says a little token of our new friendship. Ooh, full restore, nice too. Fully restores the Pokemon's HP and any status they have. Maybe train your train yourself a bit on Route 4 will help you understand your Pokemon even better. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. You know, French from uh, the Kalos region, Gen 6. So why? Oh, now it just opened up. Okay. Oh, well, that guy's a clown. I have to have a Magmar. Wow, these people just want Pokemon I don't have. Ooh, a Starmie. Order Psychic type would illuminate it as his ability. Increase the likelihood of encountering wild Pokemon. Of course, a water rock type with rocket as ability. Look at those chinchow lights, I'm good. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but you never know if you get items and stuff like that. Blossom and Confei. Confei. You were chased out of the room. In Ornberry. Wow. Doodle Woodle! If you're a rock type with rock head as his ability. Oh, I trained one of my heart gold Nuzlocke. I highly recommend you guys watch it. That was a really good one. Really good Nuzlocke. Oh. 
or bring him to those Pokemon, he will give me something. I don't want to get the stickers. Don't ask me why. Revive Naisu. Oh, what is he doing here? Chorus? Alright, buddy. Off chance. He wants to battle. He's a steel type user of Gen 5, the universe region. This is excellent. Exciting, even. A lull is provided to be full of surprises. If a trainer tries to test our Pokemon, even in the most extreme situation, Pokemon inevitably responds by unleashing their full potential, their full power, just like the trainer I once met. That was the only answer I could reach, and in Aloha, the answer takes the form of Z-Moves. I can now see with my own eyes the invisible power between trainers and Pokemon. Z-Moves give it form. Z-Power Ring and Z-Crystals, their unknown energy, will open doors to new worlds. Oh, found a health wing. Nice, Sue. Alright. Alright, let's uh, continue. Alright, so end the part here, and on the next part, we will explore Route 4. Look at that horsey fountain. Route 4, the path that leads to Panoia Town. Alright. Alright, let me give you guys a quick team recap of my beautiful sex -like team that I got going over here for you guys. First up, we have my starter Pokemon himself, the boss, Garfield the male, Torakat, level 19, pure fire type, about level 20, that goon. With Blaze, this is his ability with a person berry. Sassy nature, very Frankie characteristic, Rock moves, double kick, fire fang, growl, and roar. Next up we have Flick, the male Grubbin at level 18, pure bug type. With Swarm is his ability with the Quick Claw. He's actually two levels away from a newly evolved Char Bug. Oh, I can't wait. Quiet Nature, capable of taking hits characteristic. Rock moves, Bug Bite, String Shot, Spark, and Bite. Next up we have Lady, the female Fur for level 18. Pure Normal type, about level 19 with Fur calls our ability with the normal Z Crystal. Serious Nature, takes plenty of CS's characteristic. Rock moves, Headbutt, Baby Doll Eyes. Tail Whip and Workup. Next up we have Violet, the female Ekans, level 18, pure point type, box level 19. When it terminates our ability with a Chesco Berry. Jolly Nature, which we got extremely lucky. Somewhat stubborn characteristic, rock moves, rap, glare, screech, and bite. Next up we have Cotton Candy, the female Cotton Tea, level 13, grass fairy type. With Pranks, there's our ability with the present berry. Lax Nature, loves to eat characteristic, rock moves, Mega Drain, Growth, Leech Seed, and Sun Sport. Mega Drain, she learned. At level 13. Our newly acquired move, Mega Drain. And last but certainly least, we have our newest member on the team. We have Daisy Duck, the female Psyduck, at level 14, pure water type, about to be level 15. With Damp is her ability with a Pekka Berry. Careful Nature, Impetuous and Silly Characteristic, Rock Moves, Tail Whip, Water Gun, Confusion, and Fury Swipes. Alright, so in today's part, we started Akala Island. I defeated Dexio in the Rival Battle 1 at Hia Hia City. I cleared out Hia Hia City. Met Samson Oak again. And uh, he's upset I have zero totem stickers. What if I collect 20? I get a totem gumshoes. That's pretty cool. And I cleared out the hotel, title hotel song, with tile hotel song, whatever it's called. I don't know. Tide? Whatever it is. But, uh,. That uh, hotel is done, and we met a bunch of uh, interesting people. So, I think it's the Tide Hotel song, but whatever name is, I don't care. And now we're on Route 4, so 
in the next part, we're going to clear our Route 4 and make our way to Panolia City, which is our next destination. So I'm at one trial, one Kahuna, two deaths, the level cap is at 20 and 28 for Eternal Pokemon and Olivia, the island Kahuna of Akala Island, on my first attempt. And this video and commentary is coming to an end. This has been part 14 of my Let's Play Pokemon Ultra Sun Nuzlocke Journey with you guys. This is JoJo93. We also got the the Flying Z Crystal at 10 Carat Hill. I don't know if I mentioned that before. But uh, anything I forgot to mention, I will put in the description below. And stay tuned for part 15. We're going to progress in our journey together. Like I said, clear our Route 4. And I'll catch you guys next time. Or also, I've, we got some TMs in the last part, or last couple parts. We got... Oh, actually, we just got Smackdown. Um, a Flying-type Pokemon will fall to the ground when it's hit. So I... I believe they'll become... Only pure normal? Or something like that? Like, for that one turn? Then becomes normal flying again? I don't know, something like that. Alright. And I'll catch you guys next time.